Hi, Cher Pendarvis here. Welcome to Video 3 of the Fine Arts Series. In Video 3, I'll share my thought process for my sketching and composition design for my painting, Path to Water, Stormy Day. On the left is a loose sketch that I drew on a light gold background using the worn pastel variant of chalk pastel and crayons. And on the right is the completed painting, Path to Water, Stormy Day. For this painting, I want to communicate the feel of the brisk wind and dynamic changing sunlight on the sky, water, and landscape. I wanted a fresh, raw look. To begin, I set up a new file with a gold background. Let's set up the file. I'll start by choosing File, New. And in the new dialog, I have width and height set up, 2200 pixels. Width, height, 2300 pixels. I'm leaving the resolution at 150 pixels per inch. I set up a gold color. And I'm going to click here to show you how I did it. I clicked here on the color icon to open the color settings and I chose the Indian yellow here and then I moved the selection circle here up to lighten it and then I desaturated it a little bit by moving it away from the highest saturation over here. If you want to copy my numbers they're red 235, green 213, and blue 147. When the color was as I wanted it, I clicked OK to exit the color box, and I left the paper at its default, which is basic paper. And I'll click OK to accept. And now we have our new file. Now that we have the file with the gold background, we're almost ready to begin sketching. I want to show you how to set up a photo reference in the reference image panel. For this piece, I use no cloning or tracing. It is completely painted freehand. I made a print of a photo reference and taped it to the edge of my monitor to refer to if needed. Painter has a helpful reference image feature. And I have the panel open right here. I'll close it and you'll find it under the window menu reference image. It saved the image that I had opened but here I'll remove it or clear it by clicking the trash can. Here I'll click the open reference image and navigate to my folder, click on the photo reference and here we have it. Now, for this particular one, I didn't sample any color from this image, but if you want to do that, you can use the dropper. With the magnifier, we can zoom in to see details, and we can pan with the grabber hand, like so. When using the reference image panel, I position it to the left of my screen, as you see here. Also, I draw sketches and make color notes outside and may scan a sketch and open it in Painter to get started. Here we'll begin sketching in Painter using the worn square pastel variant of chalk pastel and crayon. The first sketch for Path to Water Stormy Day is on the left. As you can see, I didn't focus on details at this point. I'll demonstrate using the worn square pastel to sketch on our document to the right. And I've chosen a blue, and I'm going to begin by sketching in the horizon here. I love the texture of this and the fact that it's broad enough that I'm not focusing on details. This acacia bush that's on the right, right here. And then for interest up front, I added some grasses here. I'm just going to show a bit of the clouds here. In the final painting, I've added a lot more light to the sky and the water. Let's see. These flat areas down here are important in our final composition. And then the path that leads the eye into the piece is very important. And these highlight areas that you'll see down in here. 
Now I want to click on this image here and just show a layer that I added. I added this layer to show how the composition is designed and I'm just going to close the reference panel for now. There's going to be dynamic lighting in the clouds here and the light is highlighting on the water right here in a couple of areas and then on these flatter areas next to the edge of the cliff there's also light hitting. Some of our darks are right here and then some bushes that are going to be along here and here and then more darks with drama in the sky in the upper areas. So we'll see those develop as the piece progresses. In this video we touched on composition. We opened a new file with a colored background. We touched on using references for sketching and also the reference image panel. And then we sketched using the Warren Square Pastel variant of chalk pastels and crayon. In the next video, we'll develop the value study and underpainting. Happy painting!